You are responsible for your safety. Only experts should attempt what is shown in this video. I'm going to shoot a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. I have a cartridge with a 230 grain cast bullet and no powder. The bore is clear. There's a bullet stuck in the barrel. I fill the barrel with water. I'm going to shoot it out with a blank cartridge, one grain of trail boss powder, and a paraffin wax wad. Safety on. Safety off. Fire the weapon remotely. Bullet was shot out of the barrel. I'm going to shoot a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. The bore is clear. I have a cartridge with a 230 grain jacketed bullet and no powder. There's a bullet in the barrel. First I fill the barrel with water. I have a blank cartridge with a paraffin wax wad and one grain of Trail Boss powder. Safety on. Safety off. Fire the weapon remotely.
bullet was shot out of the barrel. I'm going to shoot a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. I have a cartridge with a 230 grain cast bullet and no powder. The bore is clear. There's a bullet in the barrel. Fill the barrel with water. I'm going to use a blank cartridge with two grains of trail boss powder and a paraffin wax wad. Fire the weapon remotely. The bore is clear. I'm going to shoot a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. I have a cartridge with a 230 grain jacketed bullet and no powder. The bore is clear. There's a bullet in the barrel. Fill the barrel with water. And I have a blank cartridge with three grains of trail boss powder and a paraffin wax wad. Fire the weapon remotely. The bore is clear. I'm going to fire a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. The bore is clear. I have a squib load with no powder. There's a bullet in the barrel. First I fill the barrel with water.
I have a blank cartridge with a paraffin wax wad. Safety on. Safety off. Fire the weapon remotely. The bore is clear. I'm going to fire a squib load, and stick a bullet in the barrel, and shoot it out safely. First, I fill the bore with water. I have a blank cartridge with a paraffin wax water. Fire the weapon remotely. Shot out the barrel. I'm going to shoot a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. My squib load has a cast bullet and one grain of trail boss powder.
There's a bullet stuck in the barrel. First, I fill the barrel with water. I have a blank cartridge with three grains of trail boss powder and a paraffin wax wad. Fire the weapon remotely. was shot out of the barrel. I'm going to fire a squib load to stick a bullet in the barrel and shoot it out safely. cartridge with a jacketed bullet and one and a half grains of trail boss powder. There's a bullet stuck in the barrel. First, I fill the bore with water. I have a blank cartridge with five grains of trail boss powder and a paraffin wax wad. Fire the weapon remotely.
bullet was shot out the barrel. Suppose I shoot a squib load and get a bullet stuck in the barrel of my rifle. Do you think it'd be a good idea if I took a cartridge with a bullet and used that to shoot out the bullet that's stuck in the barrel of my rifle? It's a very bad idea. This bullet would move under very high acceleration, slamming into the bullet stuck in the barrel, almost certainly damaging the firearm. Perhaps pieces of the firearm would break away and, and, in, and fly away and injure someone standing nearby. Now oh, that's a very bad idea. Let me compare that to something that's more familiar to you. Suppose my truck won't start with the electric starter and you agree to use your car to give my truck a push to get it started. Would you start back a ways, accelerate, drive into the back of my truck to push it away to get it started? Of course not. You know that both cars, would, both the car and the truck would be damaged. So instead what you would do is drive up and get very close and then slowly move to where both bumpers touch, accelerate slowly to move both vehicles up to speed. When they're up to speed, you would let off the accelerator, step on the brake. That would be my signal to turn the ignition switch to on, put the transmission in gear, and let out the clutch for the momentum of the truck to turn the engine and get it started. Now let's compare that to the problem of the bullet stuck in the barrel. A better idea than the bullet with the cartridge would be to fill the barrel with water, use a blank cartridge with powder and a paraffin wax wad, And when the, the water's in the barrel now between the blank cartridge and the bullet, and when the powder gases burn in the blank, they're going to press against the wad. The wad is going to press against the water. The water is slightly compressible, but so slightly as to be virtually not compressible. The, trend, the force from the burning powder gases will be transmitted through the water, pressing against the bullet, and forcing the bullet and the water out the barrel safely. I put together several pieces of information to create this idea. I read Chapter 7, Experiments with Barrel Obstructions in Hatcher's Notebook by Julian S. Hatcher. He had some success shooting out obstructions in barrels, but nothing which worked reliably enough to be able to make a recommendation. I also saw a video of shooting a firearm under water, and the powder in the cartridge to push the bullet and the water out the barrel, apparently without damaging the firearm. I also saw a video of a primer being pushed out of a cartridge case using water and a piston to press against the water and force it out, force the primer out. I thought that, bear, that uh, 
bullet stuck in the barrel could be pushed out using water as a means to transmit the force from the burning powder in a blank cartridge. And it seems to be, and to do it safely. This is how I load my blank cartridges. I have my case resized, primed, and the powder in the case. And I have my paraffin wax. So I'm going to press the case into the paraffin. Okay, a little messy, but the paraffin wax is supposed to seal the powder from the water. Try what you've seen in this video at your own risk. If you cannot do it safely, then please do not try it.